Okay, so one of the first bands I ever actually worked with was the Wingtips out of San Pedro, my cousin Leonard's band. So I was, I think, 16. I was working a show at Long Beach, uh, Alvin Lee and 10 years after. And at the end of the show, I noticed there was a bunch of equipment that was left behind. So I went to the, the road guys, the English road guys, and I said, what do you guys want to do with this equipment? You want to load it in the truck? You want to... And it was all this nice gear, Fender amplifiers and bass cabinets and everything. And the guy says, no, Fender dropped it off. It's promotional. We're just going to leave it here. And I said, you're kidding me. I said, well, you know, can I have it? And the guy goes, yeah. So I was walking out and I saw Randy Thiederman, the bass player for uh, the Wingtips. And I said, Randy, you got, you got your van here? Because, you know, I was working with them. And they, he goes, yeah. I said, man, back it up. You know, back it up. And they backed it up and I, I loaded all this Fender gear into their van. And they used it for years, and I don't think they realized, because I told my cousin Leonard, I gave him this really nice 65 Fender Twin amplifier that was just a collector's item to this day. And I heard just recently that he sold it. I said, no, that thing's worth like, I can't even begin to tell you what it was worth. But so the wingtips forever, people don't realize that all the gear that they were playing was actually from 10 years after. <laughs> so it's just a typical Pedro thing, you know? It's like, hey, you're here. You got your van? Back it up, man. <laughs> The funny Ambrosia story is I knew, I knew David and Joe, and I knew Chris, and I knew Chris's brother Scott, so um, they had started spinning up after Fleetwood Mac. So I, uh, we were playing Kent State, and, and, and all of a sudden um, they, came, they called me into the production office and said, hey, we got this new band out of L.A., and um, they're going to be on tour with us, and they don't have a lighting guy, so if you wouldn't mind, would you just do the lights for them? And I said, sure. I said, uh, What's her name? They said, oh, it's Ambrosia. I said, no, it can't be. Yeah, it is. Uh, Alan Parsons produced a record or whatever it was, and they were climbing the charts. So I remember going, oh, this is going to be funny. So <clears throat> I was standing at the back of the stage, and the door opened, and here comes this station wagon. And I said, fancy meeting you guys here, you know? And it's like, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm doing your lights tonight.